Hey, girl. Hey. I ain't got time to deal with your nonsense, so I just decided to start the show. Why does God be, why are you calling us nonsense? I'm just trying to help out. You, you, you've you been trying to get me to do this stuff, and I'm, I'm just trying I to do it. I want people to know to be able to find you wherever they may be able to find you. Just look for the bat signal, honey. Just look for the bat signal. Why do I feel like that's a racism? Mm. No, look, shut up. Hey, girl, shut how up. are you? I find I found the link for about the class reunion. And I found that one. Are you are you um, going, are you going to go? It's it's would, it's it's in a couple weeks. Why would I do that? I have Facebook. <laughs> I'm just What's saying you can way? go and like see people. I don't need to. I mean, I can just imagine the whiskey breath. I don't need to see them in real life. The can, whiskey I can, breath. I mean, you know that half half of our friends probably are like whiskey connoisseurs now. Carl, I think you're giving a lot of credit to our. I didn't say good whiskey. I just said whiskey mm. connoisseurs. Mm. I found those pics. I found that person on the beach pictures that you sent me. Person on the. Oh yeah, that one. <laughs> you done forgot. I did. Ooh, uh, let me turn down my game. Girl, you know, we we're being very boring. What's new with you, girl? What's new with you? Um, mm, well, uh, not much. You know, this weekend uh, I, I it was the recovery weekend. Um, it was real recovery because I had a migraine yesterday, so I just sat on the couch and we wa we caught up with um uh Ahsoka. Honey, we watched all the episodes of Ahsoka. Um, I don't even know was, what Ahsoka is. It's the new Star Wars series. About, oh, about the, is that the how character. you pronounce her name? Ahsoka, yeah. Okay, good for her. Good for yeah, her. I mean, it's good. I think it, you is, like it. Isn't that Miss Cory Booker who's the... Mm-hmm. Okay, good, mm -hmm. good, 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 good. Nah, I probably wouldn't. Why? Um, you don't like her? I don't like Star Wars. Have we had this conversation? Yes, before? many times. There's a oh. star... I like the first... Middle, whatever, three movies. I, okay. I, I like the original three movies. And then I like the, 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 the Boba Fett, whatever that is. The Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Thank you. Well, I think you'd like this one then because it's, it's in that vein. It's okay. like a, um, it's like a lady espionage series. Okay. Okay. I mean, maybe, maybe, but, so. but at the same time, I, I heard a review that says that it gets lost. It does the same thing that George Lucas does and gets lost in caring about the meaning behind stuff. And I and I George Lucas ruined himself. And so I just don't care. Okay, then. All right. Yeah, like, like that. That's and, and it's unfortunate because the first three movies are so fun. Yeah, I mean, give me Ewoks. Give me Ewoks. Said give no person Ewok. ever. Girl, you remember the Ewok cartoon show? Oh, honey, I love the Ewoks, but mm -hmm. that we about the only two that that were that was our jam. I mean, you know, he he gave us Jar Jar Binks. He cast Hayden Christensen in a movie. I mean. In well, three movies. To, somebody had to. Oh, he's in this too. Just so you know. Is it actually him or is it like a... No, it's him. Oh, good. I'm so glad. I'm so... That's his... Um, that's how... That's that's how Ahsoka is known to everyone, is that Ahsoka was his Padawan when he was still Anakin. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> I gotcha. Um, question for you. Did you finish Project Runway? No. Okay. Did you see who won yet? No. Okay. I'm the, good at I'm good at avoiding spoilers. Lately. Well, here's the thing: New York Times and WAPO have already talked about their show on Fashion Week, so I didn't know if you'd like. I've yeah, I didn't watch. I didn't. I've been avoiding all of that. Okay. Everything Fashion Week related this this time around because, Why? um, because right now. I don't know. Fashion's in this weird spot, and I'm not loving it. Um, like a couple of the couple of the shows that I have seen, I'm just kind of like, I feel almost like we've. I I blame it on Jeremy Scott. <laughs> I feel like 
his over the topness is starting to infect everybody okay. and a, a lot of designers are going away from making beautiful things and they're making just everyone's making statement pieces now <laughs> like okay i just you know which is fine in certain shows but like literally every time i would get a glimpse of like another show i'm just like okay another another yeah statement show got it so it's just like that it's like i want i want people to remember like it's great to make fun campy stuff but like there's already people that do that like make some gorgeous gorgeous items you know mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. gorgeous things darling things darling. just gorgeous, gorgeous things and pieces hats, gloves, and shoes hats, pieces gloves, and shoes. and 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 dresses and as <laughs> i did watch uh we did finish um uh drag race down under um we finished that this week right <laughs> I, again girl i quit watching all the international ones except for uk canada and america i, I just i don't I, I i barely can care about uk now like i, I right I your face was so perfect you're like okay <laughs> like i i i was i thought about i thought about watching this season of drag race down under until yeah. I saw an article that said that their their library session was so bad that they that she gave it to the uh to the pit crew dude and it I was, was like really it was wild and I was like you know what no no I do not need this in my life I it is not is not where it, I am it was it was well I will say uh -huh. the only the only main problem that me and my husband had with this season is that there it was like it was essentially like a, a 50 50 season you had 50% of the girls were insanely good. Mm -hmm. And then the other 50% of the girls were not. And it was very clear from early on, like who was going to at least be in like the top four. And um, even more so, you're like, I feel like I know who's going to win unless this is just a surprise and that person doesn't win. And uh, but yeah, it was just like, that's how the girls were this season. It was very strange. Like there was like a, I guess like, um, I don't know what's going over there, obviously, because we're not we're not in Australia or New Zealand. Um, but it was almost like everyone was putting so much on winning this show that like nobody was really having fun. And everybody was just trying to be like, I'm the best drag queen ever. So it was like that was like the vibe the whole time. So, yeah, Girl, I, got I mean, it was, I it was got something important to tell you. Oh, Lord. Uh, the, the only drag only drag queen that from Australia that can come close to being the best drag queen ever is Kylie Minogue. Kylie Minogue and then Courtney Act and then Danny Minogue. As I said, the only drag queen <laughs> that can come close to being... Yeah. So the internet collectively found out this week, I guess, you know, because it's the internet. So we know that things are in cycles, but they just found out this week that Kylie has a sister and that she also makes music. And so like gay, gay Twitter was just like, wait a minute, what? So now people are diving back into Danny Minogue's history. And uh, which I mean, I'm, I'm all for I love Danny's music back in the day. Hold on. That I'm going to pause this for a second because my my. And we're back. Hey, girl. Hi. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mame, speaking yes. of mic blowing. Yeah. Did you know that blowing. we have a Patreon? What? That's right, Mame. Dear listeners, if you go to patreon.com, Mims and Mame, you can throw us some money. Hey, Mame. Yes. Did you know? Did you know that we have another podcast? Stop it. That's right. We have You Slay Me, our Murder, She Wrote podcast, and Ooh. We Object, our Alan McBill podcast, which will have a new episode eh, soon. Unfortunately, I wasn't feeling the best last week. I was lying to myself and to Mame saying that I felt that I could do it. I couldn't You wasn't lying to me. I saw through it. You know I what? saw Whatever. through it. But, dear don't, patrons. Don't act like I did that because I did. But, dear patrons. But, dear patrons. <laughs> And dear listeners, whatever I'm trying to say, if you become a patron, you get to see us in the lightest of drag recording. The lightest. It. The, the lightest, lightest of the drag. The lightest of drag. Hey, Mame. Yeah. Did you know that we have merchandise? Stop it. 
That's right. If you go to mensmame.com, you can buy something. Hey, Mame. Yes. Do you know what I love? Five star reviews. That's right, dear listeners. I love five star reviews. And I would like to thank our dearest and sweetest, newest oh. five star review that apparently went to see you at karaoke. No, I think they were just talking about me talking about karaoke. Okay. Okay. Or yeah. maybe, maybe they're stalking you at karaoke. Oh my God. I hope so. I hope they I would are. Love, I, hope they I are. would love to have a stalker. Oh God. I wouldn't. That's why I don't put my face out there. That's why. This is season five, episode two. Papa was a rolling stone. I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I'm, I'm, I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I'm, I'm, I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I'm, I'm Julia Sugarbakers. And that's Marjorie. Just so you will know, and your children will someday know, is the night the light went out in Georgia. The light went out, the light went out, the light went out, the light went out. And that is the night the light went out in Georgia. Well, now you do. <laughs> Even I was surprised at how quickly I, I, I did that. <laughs> I was like, wait, did I say that? So we're at Sugar Baker's Girl. Sugar Baker's. And we find out that Suzanne doesn't use catalogs. But why? They're so convenient. She preferred to go there and have people wait on her. Oh, well, that makes sense. And Julia says, that you know, sense. that's that's kind of surprising at the Kmart. Girl, do you remember Kmart? <laughs> Yes, I know you do. Cause... I remember the Kmart. It was it's funny when they mentioned the catalog too. Do you remember that? Um, in the back of the JC Penney, they used to have that catalog section where you had to actually go open through their catalog and order yes. right there. With yeah, yes, uh, girl. <laughs> you, 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 you mean you mean the one that was right beside the hair salon? Yes. <laughs> yes, girl. Back with gift wrap. It was the gift wrap to catalog section. Oh, yes, girl. Man. Yes, girl. Jeez, Louise. I, 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 of I course, I remember that. that. It just came back. We just, I was like, oh, wait, I remember that now. Yeah. You have to go pick it up. Like, they'd have your thing in the little package. Uh-huh, you have to pick it up uh-huh, later. Uh-huh, oh, wow. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I remember all that. I love catalogs. I did too. It was, I mean, it, I, I preferred it back then. I mean, I guess we were. Girl, that finger catalog that was full of all that shit. My aunt, that was how we spent every pre-Christmas. She would just hand me the finger nut, uh, finger nut, finger nut catalog. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And she would just be like, pick something. I'm like, okay. Well, speaking <laughs> of gifts, it's Anthony's birthday. <gasps> Is it a big birthday? Well, before we find out how old he's going to be, uh-huh. Bernice is providing the entertainment. Uh, audience applause, audience applause. Not Bernice yet, not here. yet, not yet. She's not here yet. Oh. She's not here yet. They just say she's providing the entertainment. Give in order. In I wrote down the applause. 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 Thank you, Gaga. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, Gaga, Anthony's yes. going to be thirty. Oh my gosh, thirty! And he Didn't has had a, a stitch of work done. Nothing. I mean, you know, it don't crack, Kenny. It don't crack. Are you Are you familiar with that YouTube? What, I'm Karen, you? and I'm 30, and I have not had a stitch of work done. No. I will send that to you very soon. It is <laughs> a man in a wig. It is fantastic. <laughs> not a man in a wig. A man in a wig. Much like our drag, it is a man in a wig. That's actually very true. Yeah. That's, yeah. If Girl, you're ever to write a grant proposal. <laughs> I am a man in a wig. Give me money. <laughs> Girl, so I've got a question for you. I saw your beautiful boots that you were wearing this weekend. Oh, my cowboy boots. Your cowboy boots. <laughs> How long was your dress? That dress? Um, it was It was just, just below my knee. Okay. 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 It wasn't super high. It wasn't super low. Mm-hmm. It was just below my knee. Mm-hmm. And yes, mm-hmm. I am. I am. I am. As we as we speak, I am literally working on uh, two different looks that will be above my knee. 
I hate you sometimes. I, I, I. By the way, when a person is my height, you know that that's a little, that's, that's sometimes hard to calculate when you're using sewing patterns. It's you actually know, not all you that know, easy. When someone's your height, you would think they would try something on before they went out. I do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, girl, don't blame the patterns. Blame yourself. I don't know why I do that as a habit. Like it's a terrible habit to have. But I'm just Girl, like, it's because you're. It's because of your neurodivergence. We'll call it that, even though you've never been. You know, for that neurodivergence, you've like never been. Like when I got when I did the black market show, I, I realized that day I was like, wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah. It's like as soon as it me up, I'm like, I don't even know if this is gonna fit. Girl, you know what? You know what would help with that? A calendar. That's not gonna help with that. Well, Bernice is here. Yay! Dear listeners, we, we suddenly have an applause track. Love it. It's necessary. Like 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 season five, episode two, and now we have an applause track? Like Maybe a loud Bernice applause Bernice track? It, I think she put it in her contract. Who? Which one? Bernice, I bet um, she put it in her contract. Mm. She's like, if I'm coming back for season five, bitches, I better have an applause track. Well, Bernice is expecting a call for Mor Morley Safer. I giggled so hard when she said that. Uh huh. She just wrote him a letter about how hot he was. Yeah. And, well, and Bernice forgot about the entertainment, but she's very happy oh. that that's what she's what she's in charge of for this party because she's going to go next door to the construction oh. site because the foreman is built like a brick outhouse. Yes. Mm. We've all known those guys. Do we? Well, oh. do, do we? Yeah, we do. I mean, we do. Yeah, we do. We do. We do. We do. If you're gay and don't know at least one guy built like that, then you're in. You're... I don't know if I still know a guy built. Like... I do actually. He, I work with him. I'm gonna say everybody. He's not a gay. He used to be a no, go-go boy, though. No, I'm just saying, like, they don't have to be gay. It's just we all, mm -hmm. we all know someone just like that. How many like, do you know? Hmm. Hmm. Actually, there is this beautiful um, one that came in on uh, Thursday night. And you could tell he was like a metrosexual, like he was there with his girlfriend. But because he was metrosexual, basically, he couldn't go to the bathroom by himself because... <laughs> the few gays that were there were like, who's that? And then he followed them like, oh, I was like, take your girlfriend when you go to the bathroom, please. Because um, these people are, they're they're hovering around him like he was like fresh meat. <laughs> you see, this is why the Republicans have a problem with us. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But I mean, if you're in a dive bar in Miami Beach. Yeah, you yeah. could expect. I mean, that's yeah. like that's like being like I'm not going to there's no I'm not going to get in contact with any services that have cocaine on them. Come on, people. You're in Miami Beach. Everything has cocaine on it. <laughs> it all the cocaine I made a joke I made a joke once about doing a bump. Literally a joke uh -huh. on microphone about it. Like I was just being stupid. Not 3 minutes and some girl popped up next to me. She's like, "Oh, do you want a bump?" I was like, no, it was a joke. <laughs> you people. So, girl, I, I did I ever tell you about the time that I was um, backstage at Flex uh, no. when, when I was getting out drag and some yeah. dude was coming back there really, really wanting to, you know, score some something. Yes. I mean, I don't know what he was he was wanting to score, but he was like trying to get some form of a drug off of me. I don't know okay. which one because I didn't get that far. He did ask me if I had anything on me. Like it was it was that vague. Do you have anything on you? I'm like No, but I shot up my dick earlier this morning is what I said. And he's like, "Wow, dude. That's heavy." I'm like, what? "I'm lying. Get out of the drag room." <laughs> Kids, don't do, don't do, don't do a lot of drugs. No, if, don't, no, just, no, no. Yeah, just, just, yeah, be careful with the drugs. My dog's everybody. losing her mind. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Irene, what's wrong, I, it? It, could, it could be the other one. Oh, that's right. You have two now. I got a poopy. Yes, I've got a little poopy. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah. You don't post enough pictures on online. I, do, I don't post any pictures online. 
You could at least send me puppy pictures. I mean, you could. Well, send them so them. Bernice is gone, and Mary Jo is is commenting about her hormonal surge. Mm-hmm. The Charlie, Char- Charlene doesn't understand that, and Suzanne's like she's not only nuts but horny. That's right. But what are you well, doing behind? Dog. What are you doing behind oh. you? I'm just stretching my shoulder. Oh, it looked like you were playing with a white ball. I'm literally just stretching my shoulder. Well, what's weirdo. the white ball? It's the like medicine balls, like uh oh, you know, like when you twirl around in your hand when you have like you know fidget and anxiety issues. Okay. They're a bigger set. Of I didn't know if it was a crystal. I mean, I guess, I mean, technically it came from the crystal shop, but I mean, they're just like, they're just bald. There's like a okay. couple of them. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know. I didn't know if it was spreading to you. No, I, but that place is a really good, I mean, this is a good place for getting like that, like the round ball shapes for medicine balls. Cause there's like uh they have different sizes. So mm-hmm. I have a few different sets of them for when I'm working and need to just multitask with my hands so charlene talks about elizabeth taylor you know yes. coming back from her deathbed to get with that construction worker what was that guy's name i could not remember it for the life I, of I me i have no idea larry i think it was the cable guy no i think that guy's name was larry but i can't remember what his last name was but the cable guy no i guess the is his middle name and cable guy's last name i apologize <laughs> Shut up. yeah so larry cable guy middle name the Cable guy, one word. Um, <laughs> so Julia's going to go shopping. Mary Jo can't go because she's got to go to the father do- father son dance. Oh, um, and you know, uh, Ted is off being Ted, so he can't he can't make it. Checking is he still checking Swedish vaginal cavities? Well, Anthony's here. Yay, another applause break. <laughs> Which was another that one that one this one felt more awkward than the first one did. Is it because it was for a black man in the nineties? No, it's just like we've never established that these characters were that popular that they get their own like applause break. I mean, the weirdest one is later on with Suzanne. We'll get to that one in a minute. <laughs> Char Charlene is is just sort of talking to about things and it's like oh you didn't know your daddy char and anthony's like well i knew his name charles clarence monroe you would think this would have come up after a few seasons of knowing anthony Like, you know, like when his family came that one time and, you know, his grandmother and his aunt and uncle were there. Uh-huh. And it's a shame been. your daddy, Charles Clarence Monroe, can't be here. I heard he's dead, but I don't know. Well, Anthony leaves. He drops hint about how he really wants a VCR. Like, not subtle at all. Yeah, yeah. And, and so after he leaves, Charlene's like, well, you know, it's sad. It's so sad that Anthony doesn't have a daddy because he would make any daddy proud. And Suzanne's like, eh, whatever. I don't have big screen TV or full set of Louis Vuitton luggage, but I don't go up blasting up places. Like, damn, but she girl. Does. But she does, actually. She does, but she does. She's our, she shot Anthony. <laughs> and then Mary Jo comes up with the idea, too bad we can't get him a father. Mm. Charlene's like Ooh, we can light, hire light Magnum light. PI. That would be a nice. That would be a nice father, daddy. Charlene knows someone who who can, who can go go find his daddy. Oh, that's right. She worked for that governor's office, so she probably knows a lot of people. Well, this is this is somebody else who found she was adopted, found her father, and he gave her a trout or something. I don't know. It's it's. It's it was a, lo- a weird Charlene story. It's a long story, story that I yeah. did not care about. Yes. I should probably care more. But, Mame, I apologize I didn't. No, the Charlene stories are actually getting, in season five, they are more meandering than they used to be. So Suzanne said, that's just a bad idea. Let's just get him a VCR. He's been hitting that all day, all week, all month. I'm like, you know what? You know, I just had a craving, Mame. For or... some Kentucky Fried Chicken, extra crispy. 
Ooh. Mm-hmm. That sounds sound good, actually. Dun, 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 with some coleslaw. I haven't had fried chicken in a long time, I actually. Me either. Me either. That, that sounds good. Why have I been punishing myself like that? And don't fry it yourself because your kitchen's too crowded. <laughs> Not with your shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, girl, what will happen is you'll be frying it. You'll be frying it. Mm-hmm. And some will splash onto your arm. And it'll be in pain, and you're going to flail back, and you're going to hit that candelabra that's on the island, and then impale yourself. And why? You're going to fall in for impaling yourself, and you're, you're somehow going to roll onto that fake aquarium, and then all the, a couple of those little fish are going to stick into you, and then you're going to be in so much pain that you can't see, and you're going to run into the antiques cabinet. It's not fish, they're glass octopus. Whatever. <laughs> Besides, I am immune from grease splatter pain at this oh, point in my life. It comes with the territory. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you use Crisco for so many things at your age. Dear listeners, that was a fisting how'd you know, joke. How, how'd you know how I get out the bathtub? <laughs> to God, please out somehow, honey. Try to talk over me saying it was a fisting joke. Exactly. I know what I was doing. So it's later on, girl. It's later on. It's later on. (laughs) And the detective has not called back yet. Oh, dang it. They must have not found the guy. And Charlene's just going off on a little tangent about his daddy. And it's like, what if Vanessa's Anthony's sister? Because every black person is related. Now, girl, I do want to interject right here. Charlene is from Poe Ass, Arkansas, right? Yes, correct. Yes. Black fathers are not the only fathers to leave their children. No. I know a lot of people where we're from. Mm hmm. Not black. Mm hmm. Their father was not in their life because they left early on. Mm hmm. Oh, you can look at me. That's fine. Um. <laughs> now, I mean, I will say, though, I mean, Charlene does actually have a point. I mean, think of it in a way like this, right? Like, not the white or black part, but especially what she said about Vanessa. So let's say that I was a heterosexual, right? Jacques. Right? Say, I know. Let's just say. Jacques. Let's, just say I, let's just say I was a heterosexual. I could accept and, asexual, but heterosexual? And like I had been adopted or something like that, right? Okay. Like, remember when we went to high school together, four of my girl cousins were in the exact same class as me. That's so, true. In a small town setting, it's actually not that strange when you think about it. Now, the fact that we don't know anything about Anthony's father, so it doesn't and, make and sense. And the fact that he's from, like, is it Baton Rouge, I think, which is not right. a small town. That's the part for me that was the less believable part. Like, if Anthony had been born and raised in Atlanta. And let's also sure. add in that Vanessa is from Atlanta. Right. Then that would have made more sense. But I'm like, this part doesn't make any sense. I mean, no, it's, it's, a, it's a mild racism because she's saying all black people look alike. And they all related, Henny. I know. Did I know. didn't you know we're all cousins? I mean, nah, I know. I literally just said that I was in a class with four other cousins. But... Dear listeners, it is the one <laughs> stereotype that Mame fell into in high school. <laughs> it's not even a stereotype. It was just my life. I think grand total, right? When we went in freshman year, uh-huh. if I added them all up, it would have been seven cousins yeah they were all in our high school yep, with they me. were they were that's why nobody messed with me <laughs> and nephews too randomly had nephews somehow well, i mean not randomly they moved to statesville when we were you know yeah but they were your school. age it's so weird like it's 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 yeah <laughs> yeah it's 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 all there's a lot of stuff. It's a, a lot, lot of things. things. A, a lot, lot of things. things. A lot of things. That's well, my biography title. A lot of things. A lot of things. A lot of things. 
Yes. Well, Suzanne's here. <laughs> and she went to Mr. Donnie's to get her hair done. Yep. The, the clap is for Mr. Donnie's. Yeah. Even though Suzanne's already been on the show already mm -hmm. once. like. Well, she, she got her skin pores tightened. And then she got her gun monogrammed. Y'all want to see? <laughs> and like, Anthony walks in and then hits the deck. I mean, I would too. I would too. Anthony sits down and he says he hates birthdays. He always gets a surprise. Last year, his Mr. Coffee exploded on him. I think he called it Senor Coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he's like, well, you know, maybe we could just come to my place and rent a video. And, oh, oh, we can't because my VCR is broken. Subtle. 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 Well, Anthony leaves and then Bernice comes in. And she's like, well, hey, uh, you haven't told Anthony about looking for his dad yet? Well, why don't you just tell him that you told him about it last week? Because people always try that with me. Or Bernice. <laughs> Bernice is not as dumb as she comes off as, y'all. That's right. Don't sleep on Bernice, honey, unless you want to. I mean, right about now, she'd love for you to. Yeah, because she's in that mood, honey. She's in that mood. She's in that mood. Girl, we celebrated Oma's uh, birthday this weekend. What number is it now? 92. Holy crap. And so we, we went to a fish restaurant in Raleigh. Um, yes. And my grandmother. Oh, no. She was just... We should have just gotten her hush puppies and cocktail sauce. That is all she needed. Girl, she was eating the cocktail sauce off the plate because she hadn't had in a bit. And she's like, I really like this. I'm like, yes, I know. Babe. My mother's like, I'm going to have to buy her some cocktail sauce now. I'm like, yeah, you probably should have. Now, my grandmother every, <laughs> every morning, every morning eats bread with jam or, well, okay, let me take a picture. Let me take a step back. She says every morning she has toast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when I picture toast and you say toast, I just picture, hey, a dry piece of toast. No, 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 no. She means slathered with butter and jelly. Yeah. So she, she bought, my mom bought her jelly. My mother's whatever he is bought her jelly. And I bought her jelly. The woman now has 12 jars of jelly. Nice. Of various flavors. I love that variety. I know, I know, I know. I know. Oh, girl, speaking of it, World Market right now, they have yes. a jelly advent calendar for Christmas. No. Uh-huh. If you want to go oh, to a little, if you want to go to World Market, it'll just have a little jelly advent calendar. You can open up. It's a jar a day from... Till Christmas starting at December 1st. We don't have one here. You don't have a world market? Yes, you do. No. I guarantee you do. We don't. The closest world market's over in Fort Myers. That can't be true. I, I've lived here for 12 years. I would think I would know this at this point. Trust me, I looked for them extensively when I first moved here. The closest one is in Fort Myers, I know, because we used to go when we would go, go visit my in-laws. Mm-hmm. I'm looking it up now. Okay. All right. Sure. Because you know, and, I do not believe. Is this that. is this you in an effort to make up for the last time when I was actually right about something? You're like you're desperate now. Like, no, this is wrong. This is not right. Hmm. There's a world market and cafe. What is this? It's in Hollywood. That it is not what I was thinking, but that's fun. Girl, have you ever been there? The World Market and Cafe? Actually, huh? actually, yes. Okay. Well, this is... You're right. I'm wrong. Let's move on. <laughs> I don't feel like arguing today. I've got too much to do. I'm not sure what the argument is. Well, it's pretty cut and dry. Henry Wilson's here. Who's Henry Wilson? 
we just showed up in his back's tight. He's he's a he's an elderly African American man. Mm-hmm. Very popular character actor back then. Yeah, Bernice says she went to Japan so she can walk on if he needs to. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, we found out Charlie's dead. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's sad. Well, Charlene's like. Could you stay, Henry? I'm sure that Anthony would love to speak with you and reminisce about his father. Are you okay? That eye roll was powerful. Sorry, I have opinions on this episode, and I'll I'll express them at the end. I will hold <laughs> it. I will hold it all in until the end. Okay. So we're, we're now we're now at the birthday party, girl. Mm. And Suzanne's a little upset at the entertainment that Bernice has hired. Why is that? Because it's a bodybuilder who's just standing there flexing. Oh, that's um, weird. And that's all he does. Yeah, that's all he sings to. Um, oh. But she's like, "Is is people are going to think that Anthony's a homosexual or a steroid peddler?" Um. Bernice d- doesn't care about him singing. She's only interested in him as a sex object. His name uh, is Beefma. Yes. I actually looked up the looked no, them up on IMDb. 1986 like, uh, yeah. power lifter. Yeah, he actually did pretty well. He was like yeah. second runner up in yeah, World's yeah, Strongest yeah, Man. Yeah, yeah. I was like, whoa, that's actually cool. Yeah. Um, also, I thought one thing that was strange about this party. Where's Vanessa? Oh, she has the flu. He mentioned earlier. Oh, I missed that line. Yeah, yeah. When he's leaving to go the second time he asked for the VCR, he's like, oh, oh Vanessa has the flu. I've got to go pick up some medicine for her. Oh, I missed that line. Yeah. I didn't. I ignored it because <laughs> it's my want, I guess. It's, <laughs> I should, I'm sorry, dear listeners. I'm sorry that the plot has holes in it. <laughs> but are you, are you Mims? <laughs> Oh, God. Well, he beef was done. And it's like hey, my hours expired. And Bernie's like, hey, girls, pony up more money so we can keep him here. They're like, no, no, you, you can leave beef. Bye, beef. So beef goes. I had to Google it. See, when I was looking up his backstory, I want to make sure it was beef. B-E-E-F. B-E-E-F-M-A. Beef. Mm-hmm. Well, Anthony's talking to he- Henry about a dream he used to have where his dad would buy him a Louisville slugger and they'd go out and mm-hmm. throw balls and hit them and then he would go back to his mansion and uh, whatever. You really were not into this episode. And Henry's like, well, here, here's your daddy's watch. Wow. And Anthony says he would give anything to have his dad there with him right now. Girl. Yes? Plot twist. What? Henry is his father. Stop. What a beautiful ending this episode. Anthony loses it. He's like, how dare you show up? How dare you lie? You were never there for me before. Why are you here for me now? I just can't, don't want to deal with it. Get out. Okay, fine. If you won't get out, I will leave. That's not where I thought this episode was And then he turned around and said, why couldn't you just get me a VCR? I've been hitting that all week. Wow. Yeah. That's sad. Yeah. Oh, Anthony. So sorry. It's a little bit later on, and Suzanne says, I'm not going to tell you. (laughs) I'm not going to say I told you so, and I'm not going to tell you that I told you so. But, and then Ash says, but Anthony comes in and he apologizes for showing his ass, right? A lot of ass there, too. And got big old butt. He does. And Charlene's like, well, you should go to him and he's your dad. And Anthony's like, look, you don't understand. You had a father and you, 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 my father's not like those kids that you see on TV, the beaver and all blah, blah, blah. And what is it with you white people and these names? 
Why are you looking at me? What? No, I was I was agreeing with him. I mean, no. And he says, "Daddy doesn't mean anything to me." Wow. So That's... Charlene's like, "Well, you know, you gotta try. You just gotta try. You've gotta try." And Anthony's like, "We'll go to the train station with me to stop him." Okay, so they go to the train station. <sighs> Anthony feels like a coward because mm. he could not confront his father, and he just let him go. And the the train to Baton Rouge is already gone. Oh no! So so they missed him. But wait, wait, Charlie didn't leave. What? No, he's still here. Because he had some shopping to do and he gave Anthony his watch, so we didn't know what the hell time it was. Oh, that's clever. Mm hmm. And we find out that Charlie was there to see him after he was born. Oh. But he never went his grandmother was around because he was scared of her. She's a scary lady. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, I mean, she seemed very nice when we met her the first time. So. Mm, Charlie Charlie gives Anthony a Louisville slugger and is like, you know, Anthony's like, you know, you must have thought I would forgive you if you were going to give me one of these. Charlene's like, well, y'all should all hug. And Anthony's like, no, no, there won't be any hugs. But he is going to sleep on the floor tonight. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do 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 Hey Mame Yes Did you find yourself a Miss Georgia Weld? Um not a lot of outfits weren't really dazzling me, but I did love Bernice's little red number. I thought that was cute on her. So I mean that's about all I Obviously it's beef ma. Obviously is beef ma posing. Like obviously, girl, with that mullet that curly ass <laughs> mullet looking like a uh uh what what was it called the the American Gladiator reject it's beef ma the, yeah the mullet actually was Very I mean it good. did like kind of like take me back a bit it was like oh yeah Mame, did you like this episode it was an okay episode. I, I did I wasn't as like Mame, I did I, not like this episode let me just cut you off right there I did not like this episode. <laughs> Because it doesn't handle family trauma correctly. Dear listeners, I'm going to tell you one thing. One thing, if you go through life, one thing you need to know right now. It is fine to cut your family off. It is absolutely okay. It is sometimes necessary for your mental health to do it. It is fine. <laughs> you do not have to go back. You... If you are treated this way, you do not have to apologize for anything. The end. The better ending for this would have been to let him go and Charlene sit there crying. That would have been the better ending. Yes, it'd been more believable ending. Or Charlene accept more Charlene accepting the fact that he is, she is now Anthony's found family and that's more important than a father he never knew. Yes, ma'am. What it, was that? Too much truth. I, it's not. It's not that. No, it's not. There's too much truth. I mean, I think that. Uh -huh. I think there are many ways to interpret all of these things. And, uh huh. Yes. I mean, if we're being very honest, you do have your own sort of thing. Yes, and well, no, but yes, but I, I think do, that I do have that I do, sort of thing. But I do think that under the circumstance for this particular one, right, like. It's it's like a uh, it would make it wouldn't make sense in the context of a comedy. No, to do no, something it, like it that. wouldn't. It wouldn't. A nice comedy. I've I of course understand that. <laughs> or I guess it would have been better. I guess I would have liked it more if he was actually dead and there wasn't a twist, and like he actually bonded with this man that wasn't his father. Yeah. I don't know. I I. I could see that better, but I mean, I I don't know. I think that 
you know, they always do this to Anthony's character, yep. right? This is yes. what this is part of his yes. you know thing. Yes. They use him for the emotional yes. Yes. stuff. So it makes sense why. And it makes sense for Charlene to act the way she did to get them back together and yada yada yada. Because that's part of her like But it thing. is incredibly unhealthy to think that way. Yes. Oh, I totally agree with that. I mean, your uh dear listeners, if you have toxic family members uh you do not owe them anything no, ever absolutely ever. nothing you owe them nothing nothing not a thing like my father still sometimes tries to get in touch with me and i'm like i i owe you nothing <laughs> you it's owe, like you big owe... ben going off we, we know it's coming yeah exactly oh let me check see if you did anything recently it's like, we just, we know it's coming. We just don't know when. Yeah, I mean, a week or two ago, so it was, I'm still here. I'm like, great. I didn't say anything. I'm like, I love that song. Yeah. I'm still here. Yeah. yeah. And dear listeners, I have issues with my father. He was not there. Whatever. About he did. What? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I am a completely happy and functional adult. <laughs> that yeah. just ha- he didn't make me gay, but he did make me into a drag queen. <laughs> I thought you were going to say he didn't make me gay, but he did make me a bitch. That's what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> no, no, well, same thing. No, well, that's because drag queens have to have some kind of emotional trauma to hold on to. Otherwise, they aren't good drag queens. Oh, my God. Is that why? <sighs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, look at Sugar and Spice versus say, you, me. Yeah. <laughs> Our trauma is that we can't find size zero. <laughs> shoes. Size zero. Shoes. Shoes. <laughs> shoes. Dear listeners, we, we bound our feet inside the womb. <laughs> They come out looking like paddles, <laughs> like like little little pencil erasers. That's, that's... <laughs> oh, <laughs> and they smell like watermelon. Name, name, name. We 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 got them, we've, buddy. Why don't you tell? Got off. Got off Why don't you tell our dear listeners? Could you maybe tell our dear listeners where they could find you? Yeah. Hello, dear listeners. It's uh, me, Auntie Mayhem, your favorite relation. Uh, you can find me hosting uh, amazing Colossal Karaoke every Thursday night at Kill Your Idol in Miami Beach. Uh, you can find me doing improvised comedy and stand-up at the Villain Theater in Miami. More about them at VillainTheater.com. And as a commentator on the It's Happening Out network show, uh, more about them at It's Happening Out anywhere you search for your socials. And if you just want links to everything, just go to I'mYourAuntieMame.com. And now over to you, Mims. Beef ma. Beef ma. Hey, y'all. I'm the Divine Miss Mims. You can find me at thedivinemissmims.com. Hey, Mame. Yes. Did you know that we have Patreon? What? That's right. If you go to patreon.com, Mims of Aim, you can throw some money. Hey, Mame. Yes. Did you know that we have other podcasts? Another podcasts. Yeah. Another, another podcast? Another, another. Uh, uh, yes, we have you slay me our murder show podcast, and we object our Alan McBill podcast. Yes, hey, Mame. Yes, did you know that we have merchandise? What? That's right. If you go to Mimsway.com, if you go to Mimsway. dot com, you can buy some things. Hey, Mame. Yes. Have you filled out that calendar yet? I'm Do you know what I love? Technically, do you know what I love? What do you love? Five star reviews, man. Dear listeners, if you like us, you love us, leave us a five star review. It really helps us get out there and be known. Speaking of getting out there and be known, Mame, Mame. Yeah. Did yep. you know that you can reach us? That you can reach us? That you can reach us? Yes. I if think, if you yes. send us an email at mimsamame at gmail.com or a text at 704 380 Zero six one eight. You can you can send us a little a little nothing. What? Like a little, not a little nothing. A little nothing. Oh my gosh. A pastry donata. Have you ever had one? No. Oh my god. They're they're the little custard 
Portuguese custard things. They're oh, I've this heard big. of those, but I never oh, had Oh, they're one. delicious. If you found a place that has them, they are fantastic. I wonder if they would have them at like the Brazilian bakery. I mean, they're maybe? probably not the same, but maybe they would. Oh. But like, like, like they, they may, mm. they may. Yeah. It also mm. may be too humid down there to make them. <laughs> it is very humid. It is very humid, especially right now. Super it's, humid. It's so oh, humid. My God, just be careful around. coming here. You're gonna get frizzy. Is that what his name is, Mame? Anyway, do you have anything else to add? No, God, no. Then why don't you just say goodnight, Mame? Yeah, goodnight, Mame. Bye, y'all! I'm trying to make it to at least 50 minutes. I need four, three, two, one. Bye, y'all!